Kids. Welcome to a brand new school year. We are so excited for the journey that we are going to be able to go on together. We're looking forward to a lot of fun and a lot of success. So one of the things that we're going to be doing today is we're going to be going through everything that you need to know in order to be successful as a wildcat. And the first thing that is really important for you to know and to do is to bookmark our Lakeview Wildcats website. And so you can get to this in one of two ways. You can either get to this through Lakeview's website and your pathway is shown on the screen, or you can just go to lakeviewwildcats.com. We would ask that everybody bookmark this. This is a great thing to have bookmarked on your phone, great thing to have bookmarked on your computer, whatever it is that you've got, because this is one of our main ways of staying in communication with everybody. And partnering with everybody is something that is extremely important to all of us. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what our website looks like. So this is our homepage. Obviously it looks different here on a computer than it might look on your phone. There are a couple of key pieces that I want you to know about. First of all, across the top, you'll see that there are different tabs, and if you hover over the More button, then there might be even more. When you scroll down on the home page, you'll notice that we have announcements for our Wildcats, and it even includes some t-shirt information. We'll talk a little bit more about these t-shirts a little bit later, but just know that everything that I'm going to discuss is right here, including a direct link to the website and an image of what the t-shirt would look like. We're hoping that all students will have one of these because um, we will wear them for assemblies and things of that nature. The second tab is probably the most important tab. It is our weekly agenda tab. We really try and do a great job of communicating with all of our students and their families um, about what is happening in our classrooms. One way that we do that is inside of Schoology. And at the top of any of our Schoology courses, you will be able to see um, a Google slide presentation that looks something like this. You can go advance the slides in order to see like previous weeks. But, so essentially a week at a glance, the main things that are happening in class and then whether or not there is homework in anything. Well, the great thing about this weekly agenda tab on our website is that we know not everybody has quick, easy access to Schoology. If that's the case, that's okay. On our weekly agenda, if you scroll down, all of those agendas that are sitting at the top of our screens in our Schoology course are here for you. It's a one-stop shop for all of your Wildcat classes. So you'll see writing and reading together. This is a co-taught class. Um, so you'll see a lot of overlap in terms of what communication looks like coming out of that room. Same thing for what this looks like in terms of the to-do list for the day and what's happening in class and what might be homework. You'll notice that there's um, slides and information for both math and accelerated math. You'll notice that there's also science and social studies. So again, with the tap of a button, we're trying to make sure that you as a parent or guardian or that you as a student can go through, see exactly what happened in class that day. This is great for absences as well as conversations at home. Instead of saying things like, how was your day? You can say, hey, let me know, what kind of team building did you do in social studies today? Or what is this Nystrom project? You're, resource that you're using in social studies. I'd love to know more about that. So again, our goal is to partner with you and empower you in things that you do with your student. In addition to that, we also have a tab for class information. This class information tab is going to have important things like an overview of each of your teachers, gives you a little bit of insight into them. And then you also find the syllabus for each one of our core classes. On this tab, you will additionally find a technology lotus that hopefully shows you all in one place some things that you might need and be able to have access to, as well as a quick look at our grading practices. The last tab is a Meet the Team tab. This video that I am creating now will actually replace the one that is here on the website. And then you're going to notice that if you scroll down, again, there's a little bit of a bio each of the teachers, you'll see our names, our pictures, and then also have direct access to our emails. Um, we cannot communicate enough how important it is for us to stay in contact with you and how much we want to partner with you as we all grow and learn together. One of the other things that we wanted to make sure that everybody was clear on is homework. This is something that we expect every night from a variety of subjects 
um, especially in math. And there is often a really negative connotation around homework, but please know that on this team, we do everything that we can to provide work time in class, to provide access to us in terms of, you know, working through issues, um, problems. We do a lot of conferring one-on-one -on -one with students. So if something has become homework, it is because they're either, we could not have rung one more minute out of class and in order to stay on pace with what we're doing, we're asking that to be done at home, or it's because there was some time available in class and it either wasn't quite enough or potentially that time wasn't used super wisely. So just know that we, we really wanna acknowledge and honor all of the things that you have going on outside of school, but there will be homework. And so it's better to approach the conversation as, what homework do you have? Rather than, do you have any homework tonight? And go with it that way. Um, not all assignments, whether it's homework or not, will be graded. We really try and encourage students to understand that all of the work we do is purposeful. There is not busy work. Um, and so all of that is for growth and all of that matters. It just won't all necessarily translate to the grade book. And so it's important to know that as well. We do expect for all work to be turned in on time. We do have a three, two, one grading system for all 20% work and being turned in on time is one of those three points. Now you might see something in Infinite Campus where if somebody gets a two out of three on a 20% assignment, um, it looks really scary. It looks like a 66% or a D, um, please know that we are not saying that your student has a D level of understanding on that particular assignment. The things that it reflects are, is it done with quality? Is it all the way complete? And is it done on time? And so it's possible that whether or not that was turned in on time might be a contributing factor to a lower score on one of those 20% assignments. We do expect top quality work, and it's also important for students to know that we do not allow them to rework those 20% assignments. Again, we're really trying to focus students on staying up to date with their work on top of their work, um, and we really want to lean into the important conversations that we have with students at that time that the work is being done. And then any other conversations and things, we can always come back to the learning, um, but it's important that they do their best the first time. Grades are posted to Infinite Campus. You can typically expect that um, Infinite Campus will be updated around once a week. Some teachers update more often than that, but please know if something hasn't been updated that we are working as quickly as we can to post those. It's also important to know that we are always focused on grading and posting current work and that anything that has been submitted late is really at the bottom of the pile, so to speak, and that it may take a little bit longer for those scores to be to be posted because we're focusing on current work. Like I've mentioned several times, there is an 80-20 split to our grades, which means 80% of your student's grade comes from assessments. And what is amazing about this is that all assessments are technically available to be reworked. And this is really where we lean into catching any gaps, catching any learning that we need to go back and shore up. Um, reworking things with students, many of us will expect that there is work done prior to a rework and things along those lines, but anything that's an assessment, a quiz, a test, a project, a paper, all of that will go into 80% of your student's grade. 20% is what we like to call practice and preparation. And that's really where you're going to see, again, a lot of those homework type things, smaller practice items. And again, that is not available for rework because we want them to stay on top of whatever the current learning is. When it comes to absent work, obviously we are never gonna penalize a student with any kind of late points or things like that if they are absent from class. What we do expect is that our students are independent learners and that they will go and they will check either our website or the top of the, our Schoology course and see what happened in class that day. Obviously, if your student is sick, um, you know, we don't expect them to be ill and to be working. It's really a matter of an awareness of what's happening. And then we need them to be caught up for, they'll have one day for every day that they are absent in order to make things up. We are extremely accommodating. Obviously want to, you know, partner with you um, and let students know that we support them. So anything that you're going through, anything your student's going through, whatever that happens to be in terms of absences, please let us know and we will do our best to work with you. 
If what you're looking at is potentially an extended absence for whatever reason, our office is open from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. if you were to need to get something out of a student's locker or something along those lines um, or pick something up. The doors are locked around 5 p.m. unless there are other activities going on in the building. And then when it comes to getting absent work, typically you're not going to find much that is on paper that you would need to collect at the end of the day anyway. Um, but if something was on paper, please know that because of the way that our schedule works, we teach all the way until the end of the day. And there's really not a chance to gather work that is needed before the end of the day. We can typically get that turned around within 24 hours though. If it's a long absence, including, you know, if there's a quarantine involved, if there's an extended illness, a vacation of some sort, um, please know that we would highly recommend that you just deal with whatever it is that you're dealing with in that moment and worry about getting absent work when you return. We find that students are often more focused and ready to get things done when it feels directly relevant to what they're learning at that moment in time. We can put things together early if needed, but if that's the case, we would expect it submitted upon return rather than when you get back, just taking the time that you need in order to get caught up. Big ideas is something that is used in math class. And so the reason that we bring this up is because this is where you can expect students to have their homework for Ms. Thetford. And so that homework is completed online, but all students need to show turn in a showing work page. And this is something that's a directly a part of the score that they receive in Infinite Campus, that three point score. So it's important for you to know that. All of her notes and things when she goes through and is teaching in class and all of those things, she has notes for reference as well as videos for many things in your student's Schoology course. So for math, it's important to know that there are two spaces that you might need to look, but that everything is available and everything can also show you as a parent what has and has not been submitted. All students are also able to access help during life education for all teachers, but it's especially important to know that for math. Our one-to-one -one policy here at Lakeview, obviously all students are going to have their laptops, but their laptops must be charged when they come to school each day. This is absolutely essential for the learning that we are doing. And if their laptop is not charged, then they will receive a mark on their Aurora tracker. If you have any battery issues, please let us know. We will absolutely be happy to work with you. Our primary online tools that we will use, all of those that I showed you in that Lotus on our team website, are going to be the primary ones we used. Schoology is our biggest one, big ideas for math, and then ELA is piloting a new resource or is using a new resource this year called Study Sync, and so you may hear some about that as well. And then obviously we're going to be using Infinite Campus. Please expect that technology is going to be used both in class and at home on a consistent basis and that we expect our students to be problem solvers, creative thinkers, and responsible. And so if your student is running into something at home, we would highly recommend your first question to be, tell me what you would do if you were in class right now. Or show me, click on some things and show me what we can do to maybe find the solution to that. We really are trying to encourage them to be independent. For conferences, we are going to have a link that is on our team website, and that will be posted by the time that you are viewing this. That is going to be November 2nd and November 3rd. There are going to be plenty of slots to sign up for. Life Ed teachers will contact you with conference information once all details are finalized, and you'll get that um, in the first handful of weeks. It'll probably be three to four weeks before we send something officially, but the official sign up will also be located on our team website once everything is finalized. When we do our t-shirt orders, it is important to know that we need those placed by the end of the second week of school. So those will need to be placed by um, September 2nd, and we will be sending out communication about that. Our use sizes run extremely small. We would highly recommend that nobody order anything smaller um, than an adult extra small. These will be handed out at school and it's really important that your student name first and last is what you put in the comments of that t-shirt order. Again, the link for that is on our website, which can be found on the homepage. 
We are so excited to have you here at Lakeview. 